Hi everybody, it's Jerry from Innovational Musings. This video is about a test drive we took on November 6th of the Nissan LEAF. It was held in uh, just outside of Portland and Hillsboro, Oregon. Uh, the Nissan people have these portable buildings and about a dozen LEAFs that they take around to the cities where the LEAF will be first introduced. It was good to get up close to the vehicles and see some different colors like this black one, which I haven't seen before. Oh, that's a good example of how much lug a uh, trunk space. Yeah, that's what I was that's looking at. See how much stuff you could get in there. Nissan did a nice job uh, with the no, no. tour. They had the buildings all set up, and uh, even though there were people all day long going through it, it was uh, very pleasant and no crowding. Uh, there are probably more Nissan Leafs here than anywhere else in the world outside of Japan right now. Uh, they uh, arranged to have people go out in groups, line up, have a pleasant waiting area, and some information up that you could read while you're waiting, go through the presentation, and then ultimately on the test drive. So ladies and gentlemen, just to give you a quick heads up, um, not only is uh, video taking and picture taking allowed on the tour, it's actually encouraged. So please, if you want to take videos or pictures, go ahead. Um, just don't post those videos on my face or my space or whatever. Facebook. Um, actually, you can put it wherever you want to. Uh, this is the battery room. I'm going to use this, uh, although it goes in and out depending on where I go in the room. Like that. Um, so I'll try to narrate as much as I can. My name is Dylan, um, and I will be a tour guide through the rest of the Drive Electric experience. We'll take, uh, we'll start at the battery room, we'll go into the science room, and we'll line up in the 100 mile room. And then you'll have a chance to actually sit in and explore the vehicle for yourselves. When you get a chance to sit in the vehicle, that's where you want to figure out how to adjust the mirrors, not while you're driving. Horsepower. Right? Torque gets you going, horsepower keeps you moving. The batteries themselves are underneath the seats of the Leaf, so plenty of room for passengers to get over 1,000 public charging stations of this type in the next two years. Now, if you're not satisfied with eight hours, there is a third type of charge. It is not for residents. It's capable of charging the LEAF in about 30 minutes. Oh, this is Oregon. You can't do it's that. It's 480 <laughs> volts of direct current right into the battery pack. And that will charge. Now, each battery um, is Every little thing looks like a sardine can underneath there. That's actual. That's an actual battery module. Inside each of those battery modules are four laminated lithium-ion batteries. The batteries are all communicating at once with the onboard computer to tell you things like the available range, the amount of uh, miles you have left, uh, the type of charge you're using, the hours left. But there is going to be a yearly cost associated with it. The car weighing system allows you to log in anywhere you've got an internet connection and access the information on your leaf. You can actually program the car to start charging at a certain time of day. You can program it to stop. We got to poke around the vehicle and uh, look at under the hood and the um, plug-in. Uh, they did as much as they could to make the, the car look like a normal automobile. That turbo battery is to actually supply electricity to the air conditioning, heater, and uh, accessory uh, electrical items on it. The engine, well, actually motor, uh, looks like a regular engine in a, in a car, but it's not. It's an all-electric vehicle. That's, that's the electric motor. Uh, it's driven by the um, batteries. It, it kind of does like the ACC mode, which I think he might have just did. Yeah, yeah, hold that in there good. There you go. And then this is pretty much it. Car is a car. You just move that over and put it down for. All right. So do you have a, a planned route for us to we go? We do. We're just gonna follow these other leaves. Oh, okay. It's gonna be a magical experience. How's the starter system? <laughs> it's fantastic. It's a magical experience. A magical. It's kind of like riding a unicorn. In Disneyland. Okay, so okay. Towards you. you and move it over and then down. You gotta have your foot on the brake now. And then for some reason, it doesn't like it. Foot on the brake. 
What's that beeping me? For some reason, if you don't have your foot on the brake from starters, it doesn't like you. There you go. You're in drive. Oh. But yeah, the uh, GPS, like it shows you where all the uh, charging stations are and everything. Is this power steering? It's electronic power steering, actually. So it's all steer by wire, which way it goes? Yep. That way it feels the same at 60 as it would at 6. And is that adjustable or is that fixed? That I believe that is fixed, but the developers could know something that I don't. Mm -hmm. But regardless of your speed, it's the same? It is the same. You will be able to feel that. Very light. Yep. But not too light. <laughs> <laughs> How do I like it so far? How do you like it so far? <laughs> How about the defrosters? Let's see what we got going on here. And then uh, turn that, turn the lights on for me. It's that left guy there. That sign right here, just like normal. There you go. Then we're gonna go right, actually. And then did they tell you about like the economy mode it has and everything too? Yeah. Okay. You know how to do that? Nope. You're gonna move this joystick over and down whenever you want just so you can get the feel for the difference there you go it kind of slows you down and lets you not hot rod that way you can get more kilowatts per so mile it also reduces pickup when you exactly. accelerate and when you slow down the motor kicks in sooner to start drawing and up. also when you slow down it trickle charges your energy with the kinetic energy which charges your battery talking about making it a federal law, so they're kind of just ahead of the game. There's no laws right now. You can actually turn it off and on. And this functions like a normal GPS unit? Yep. Do you, you got have to, XM um, radio and all sorts of stuff. <laughs> That's all standard for the vehicle. Yep. And then it's done back to this. this button right here shows you your distance and what you can do. So like the white circle is where you can go to and get back to where you're at like right now kind of thing. That way you know you're, you're charging. And then like gray is where you can go to like that's your 55 miles because right now you have 55 miles left on your charge. Does the map need any DVDs or does it download whatever? Um, it's so all, it's it? all satellite. That's it, huh? That's a quick ride. No off road. <laughs> nope, no, um, no off road the, jumps. Uh, the stereo on for me. Well, that concludes our test drive of the Nissan LEAF. Uh, it was fun, and we hope you liked the video. Thanks.